can't wait. I'm excited. I mean, I might be a little biased today because we're bringing the Vinci in uh, live <laughs> and direct. <laughs> At least, you know what? I feel like already I'm planning the next one. We need to do a duo when we're both in St. Vincent. But for now, <laughs> we are, of course, in Canada, Ontario, Canada live. And I'm so excited about my guests. I can't wait, of course. But uh, good morning, good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. And I'm not the guest of honor, so I'm just going to get right in. So hello, Suzette. I'm going to let you introduce yourself, and we're going to get started. Hi. So hi, everyone. My name is Suzette. I am actually originally from St. Vincent, just like Anna said. It's a Vinci thing today. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much, Anna, for inviting me. So I'm um, a single mom of three. I immigrated to Canada, like, what was it, over 11 years ago or so. So I'm an immigrant as well. And I worked mostly in the financial industry. Um, but currently, I'm retired, which is the amazing thing, because I started my digital business about two and a half years ago. And since then, I have been able to basically quit my job and just focus on this full time. And it's been amazing. So well, look at you pulling the punches already. Like, yes. I, I'm you know what? dashing it right. I'm putting it right I'm in. Right. You know, <laughs> that title, um, please. Let's let's give it to you, right? <laughs> we yes. are retired. Okay, I've worked hard. We're now keeping I it am. real today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. No problem. So now that we heard a little bit about your background, you know, mm -hmm. um, and of course, I as well been the financial industry, been in the banking industry, and you know, it, it's interesting. It's interesting because it's either we get these two looks. You know, we get the look of you're in the banking and you're doing this, what, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Um. Or we get that look where this has nothing to do with it, you know? <laughs> yeah. So tell me, what led you to start your journey as a digital business owner? So, um, you know, like I said earlier, I'm a single mom. And so having a single income meant that, you know, it was a struggle, especially being in Toronto. Now, anyone who knows Toronto knows how expensive Toronto really is. Um, rent is expensive. The food is expensive. <laughs> Everything. I'm going to let you guys in on a little joke just because I'm keeping it real today. I remember when I moved to Toronto, when I went into the supermarkets and I saw like the prices of the chicken and stuff, I wouldn't buy any because I kept calculating it back to the EC currency from back home. And I was like, so why do I need to pay that much? I'm not buying any chicken. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, I actually still like do it a little bit, but I try to avoid it now because, you know, if I do the calculations, man, I feel like I'm being cheated so much because things are just so expensive. So I really just needed to supplement my income. And so I knew I had to find some way of doing that. But on the other hand, I didn't want to have to leave my kids to go to like a second or third job, like a lot of immigrants do. I mean, kudos to them and, you know, you got to do what you got to do to take care of your family. But I felt like I needed to be, especially um, I have a daughter and then I have two boys. And I'm like, I want to be there. I just need to be there. So so that's why, you know, an online business was best suited for me at that time. So I was really happy when I found it um, because I knew that meant that I could do it from the comfort of my home, which meant that I didn't have to leave my kids. Absolutely. And I mean, that, you know what, I feel that some get the pleasure as immigrants, we know uh, that sometimes the grass is not always greener. <laughs> but kudos to you to do the calculation. I can never... <laughs> I never thought about it, but you know what? I get it. Sometimes what I do is the value of it. I'm like, oh man, I can just get this out of the ground back home. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It, I get it. Um, but of course, um, in, in in single parenthood uh, life as well, you, there are so many. You know, you're you're juggling so much, and mama three as well. So I I get it. Uh, but like you said, a lot of persons choose because they didn't know that there's another option, right? They choose to um, have that extra role extra shifts and extra roles on top yeah. of that um and, and it's it's that point when you kind of have this transition when you're there even though you're here whether it's 10 years five years you just do what you got to do yeah. so tell me 
how is it going so far for you? I know you gave a preview, of course, but how is it going so far for you? Because you had this checklist of what you wanted. Um, so can't wait to, to hear how is it going so far. Listen, it's been amazing. And, you know, that part about me even quitting my job was more than I expected. I didn't go into this expecting to do that. Uh, I went into this expecting to make a few extra dollars a month, you know, maybe pay an extra bill, maybe be able to finally save towards purchasing a home, you know, very small expectations, right? Um, but, you know, it did surpass um, what I expected, which is really great. But even beyond that, you know, it I always say it's the three F's for me, right? It's the flexibility, the freedom, and of course the finances. So, so, so the flexibility um, to talk about that is what I wanted. I, I can do it now from home. I'm always here for my kids, right? I see them after school. I, I pick them up if I have to, if I have to get them home. I'm here. I'm on them about their homework. I'm there to take them to sporting events, any activities. I'm actually here and I'm, I'm very present for them, which is great. And they need that support, especially coming through the last two years. It's a tough time for everybody. And it's been tough for the kids as well. It's a, it has been a very stressful time. And, you know, we have to talk a little bit about mental health, right? It's really mm -hmm. important. And I think um, knowing that you have someone in your corner supporting you really does help. So I'm happy that I'm able to actually do that for my kids and, and have that. And then talking about the freedom, the freedom, um, you know, being boss free is amazing, right? There's no one breathing down my neck. Um, the holidays are coming up and I'm not wondering, okay, am I going to be able to get time off to spend the holiday with my children? Like, you know, and that's something that really um, I didn't like about having my job because it was always like, I, I, I immigrated here. I'm here. I don't have a big family circle here. You know, I'm like, I like to say I'm all my kids have. So if I'm not there for them for the holidays, then who's going to be there, right? And so when you're employed and your boss, your manager, or even your other coworkers have a say in whether you get time off or not, you know, that, that just sucks. And so I don't have to deal with that this year. Like this year, you know, the holidays are coming up and I'm just like, Breezing through, like, I'm here. You know, I don't have to ask permission for anything. I don't have to ask for time off. I don't get told, oh, there's a seniority issue. This person wants to go, so you can't go. I don't get any of that. So that's the freedom I'm talking about, right? So so I'm really loving it. It's been great. Um, no regrets whatsoever. I always say I wish that I had found this business sooner. Um because I would be in so much of a better position than I am right now. Right now for me, it's really just started and being able to give myself to this full time. I know that I'm going to achieve so many of my goals and dreams, even things that I never thought possible. So yes, I am absolutely loving it, Anna. Absolutely. I mean, come on, you already pulled, you already put, put out, like brought that present out because <laughs> you know what, you're proud of that title. That's uh, retiree. Hello. Yes. <laughs> in our parties. <laughs> What? <laughs> so I hear you. <laughs> and you know what? You said something key. And I feel like it's such a, a great transition to the next question. But it's true. It's you you just wish for certain things, things that don't seem like a lot. And you got more. And it's one thing that I always say is that this business teaches me to dream bigger. Don't 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 even think about doing it only small, you know, set those goals. Absolutely. But dream bigger. And of course, you are such an inspiration. So I cannot wait to see the explosion um, even further. I'm telling you. So we really have to do the the, the rematch interview, so to speak. <laughs> Probably going to yes. have to be home. <laughs> I don't know. Absolutely. How much travel benefits. But um, to the third <laughs> thing, of course, uh, you know, what advice would you give to someone? Maybe they are experienced experiencing the immigrant life. Maybe they have uh, experience right now uh, managing their household, especially with parenthood, a single parenthood, you know, and they probably think I can possibly put anything else on my plate, but they need something. So what advice would you give to them if they're thinking about starting their journey as a digital business owner? So uh, one of the things that I really do love about 
um, having my business is the fact that I am effectively changing lives, right? People all over the world, it's a global business, and I reach out to people all over the world. Or I should say they reach out to me because people from all over the world reach out to me and I'm able to help them get started with their own business, right? And I think the first step that anyone who's out there, who's thinking about it, needs to take is really, you know, doing it. You just do it. Um, once you're presented with um, any sort of opportunity, I would say. I know sometimes it's scary. Some you don't know what it's about. Sometimes you 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 don't really understand it because it's different. But you're never gonna know if it's really something that you're gonna be good at or if it's something that's gonna really change your life. You're not gonna know that unless you actually check it out. So you have to take that action. Of course, you wanna weigh your risks. You always want to, you know, make intelligent decisions. You have to check things out thoroughly. So you do your research, right? But once you've done your research, just jump right in. So my advice to anyone who's thinking about it is to jump right in. Give yourself that chance. Believe in yourself. Give yourself that chance to achieve your goals, to achieve your dreams. Um, because... It's your responsibility. It's not someone else's responsibility to do that, right? And I know um, sometimes we're surrounded by people and we tell them, you know, what our hopes and our dreams are. We tell them about the things that we want to achieve. And, you know, they might laugh at you. You know, they might look at you like, oh, my God, you're being so silly. Like, that's never going to happen. Like, what are you even talking about? And, you know... Sometimes we try to shrug it off, but then deep inside, it kind of makes us feel like, oh, maybe I am a little cuckoo to be thinking that I could even achieve this, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that our mind is a really, really powerful place. And anything that you put your mind to, you can achieve. And anything that you dream of, you can achieve. You just have to be intentional and work to that, towards that. And as long as that is your focus and as long as every day when you get up, you take like the steps that's necessary to move towards that goal or that dream, you're going to achieve it. We tend to achieve the things that we focus on. All right. So um, you just go for it. <laughs> if it's what you want, you just go for it. <laughs> I know. And you know what? Those are some key points as well, because you know what? You're, you're going to have all I always call it this background noise, no matter how well-meaning they might be, um, mm -hmm. you know, well-intentioned. Uh, sometimes you do, but I'm sure for you as well, you probably would not have been, uh, you know, retired in your 30s, in your 40s, pardon. Um, you probably could have in your 30s if we saw it. <laughs> we all knew this, right? I know. Okay, you know, you can in its time, in its time, we're going to keep the 40s.